Hey guys, Ryu here with another bit for Blender. This one's gonna be about stacking subdivision modifiers for some really cool results. So let's grab a plane and shift D and copy it in here. We're gonna select them both. Q, go to uh, modifier and solidifier, move them down. Control 2 to add subdivision modifier, right click and shade smooth. Now we got two objects that are basically identical. We're going to change a few things here, okay? So traditionally, when you're subdividing something, you want to achieve uh, sharper corners, you want to add loops, uh, and that's how you do it, right? However, in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to use a hug, and we're going to add a secondary subdivision modifier, and we're going to change the first one from cut mook arc to simple. Now, what it will do, uh, it's a really cool thing, because the first one's going to subdivide the mesh, but it will not curve it, and the second one's going to curve it, okay? So the first one, by changing uh, subdivisions here, you can change the sharpness of the corners, and the second one, you can change the softness of the of the mesh itself. So, you know, you can do things like that. So if I'm going to increase this one to uh, 4, and I'm going to run a, you know, loop in here, you see that I'm going to receive a, kind of a really, really soft curve, very organic. This one, on the other hand, is going to produce much more interesting results, more plate, like, like a steel plate or kind of like a, you know, machine plate like, okay, result. Uh, let's make it a bit softer it's a bit too you know too vulgar for me okay there we go and then if you go into let's say extrude it you know uh, scale it whatever and um, it's just going to maintain uh, this you know this kind of uh, a subdivision level right so the angles and the bevel is going to be very similar to one another so if that's what you want that's awesome and you know for simple plating kind of like steel buckles whatever this is really cool and maybe for something a bit more complex and something that you need uh, to um, control the amount of curvature with loops, you know, because you can add loops in here and kind of determine how f how soft or how uh, sharp you want the edge to be. Whereas in this case, you know, you kind of stuck with the with the overall angle um, sharpness. All right, so you could still, you know, uh, cut it. So let's go to uh, view mode with box cutter and go to orthographic and just kind of, you know slice it here with a with a knife then we're gonna inset it okay and then you know extrude it scale it and delete this face combine these corners here so um, it's going to be flexed and combine these here and here right? there you go sorted so you see you can res uh, you can achieve very quick you know sub d results let's just turn off this uh bottom part here which are really awesome if you don't mind these bevels being of the same size on smaller bits that's you know probably the best way to go about it but you know again this kind of a subdivision gives you the most control so if you need the control use this one and if you don't need control you need some simple elements for your design this is a really quick and dirty way of getting some really cool subdivision shapes going on. Anyway guys, that's it for this uh, tip. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. This one is not included in our course in the 497 tips, essential tips for Blender. But this is a kind of a tip that you can expect from the course, okay? So if you're interested, have a look. There's a free version of the course released. So check it out. Links in the video description. And next Friday on May 14th, the full version drops. So, you know, hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. Catch your next video.